welcome to another <gasps> unboxing and review. Today we will be reviewing the uh, Mac Kansas number 20 um, Dollar General <gasps> Toyota. So really nice car. Um, this is this review was dedicated to my good friend Todd, um, who was chief mechanic for the number 20. Of Matt Kenseth. Um, so very nice. And, well, uh, let's get it out of its box. As if I can, uh, there it goes. These, uh, Lego boxes can be a bit fiddly. Don't want to tear the box, um. So here it is, out of its box, and... Um, first thing I want to say is that, um, on first appearance, um, this car just stands out. Um, it looks pretty eye-popping. Um, as you've got with that black interior, um, really stands out and gives it a really good look. And, in my opinion, is a really nice change from last year from why now um and if we're going now we'll do the comparison from last year's car to this year's car as you can see the front is um pretty much the same um if we look, the Dollar General logo is a bit smaller on this year's car and um Hmm, if we look at this, um, that's really the only difference I can spot on the front. Now, if we go to the side, this is where the main difference is. Um, so, if we look on the sides, this is where the main difference is. Um, if you hear that, um, you may hear background noise, that's my bird, um, he can squawk a lot, so um, just ignore that. And we've got the um, side um, on the 2014. Um, the stripes are closer together um, this year than last year's car, which personally I like that as it gives the car. It makes the car a little more um, eye popping, if. You um, if you get what I mean by that. And, um, we go to the back. Uh, there was hardly any difference on the back. They're both, um, the, exactly the same. We go on the top. On this, not, um, any difference. Um, so, um, there's no difference on the top of the car. And... So, really nice, and that's it for the comparison. Now, if we look, go back to this year's car. Um, one thing also I would like to say is that um, the splitter, actually, is different on this year's car. It's black on this year's car and yellow on last year's. So, um, that'll be it for the comparison. Um... So, really nice, um, if we look at it. So, pretty cool. We've got, um, if we go over on the sponsors of the car, we have Dollar General on the hood. Um, on the sides, you have Dollar General here. Um, and the sponsors of the car here, we have Freightliner, um, Ray Bestos, Doosan, and I don't know what that other one is, um, right here on the, um, B post. Um, so if we go here, so that's the side, um, we have on the back, Home Depot, Toyota, so that's the back, uh, we have here, Dollar General on the deck lid and the roof. And we also have the number 20, Matt Kenseth. Um, the number 20, Matt Kenseth's name on the um, top on above the um, window net. 
or the passenger side window. Um, depends on where you're looking at. Um, so, really nice. Um, pretty, overall, a really good paint scheme. And this car, uh, if I was to get this paint scheme a rating, 10 out of 10 compared, you know, with this year's car. The car overall is a 10 out of 10. You know, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of this car as it feels that the metal is a little bit tougher. So it can resist a little more um, rough play. Um, so really nice and great car to collect if you like collecting cars or to collect and to play with them. So um, this is a great die cast review and this is Zachary. Thank you for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Zachary Tinkle signing out.